Hi, my name is Allison St. Germain, and I am an assistant clinical professor at Iowa State University in the Food Science and Human Nutrition Department. And I also am owner of St. Germain Consulting, Health Redefined Nutrition for All Bodies. And March is National Nutrition Month, and the theme this year is Bite by Bite. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what that means to me. Well, a lot of people think they need to eat perfectly or follow some type of diet in order to be healthy, and that actually is not true. If we can think of eating, and anything for that matter, as a pendulum, sometimes we eat too much, sometimes we eat not enough, but if we're hanging out somewhere in the middle, that actually is really good. And that is what we strive for. And so what I like to teach students interns and clients is about intuitive eating and there are 10 principles in intuitive eating one of them being honor your health with gentle nutrition and I absolutely love that principle because it is very sensible and it also brings you a lot of food freedom and helps you develop a healthy relationship with food so when I teach others about gentle nutrition I encourage them to primarily choose foods based off of three criteria, and this is not in any particular order, but one of them being nutrients or nutrition. And that's different for everybody because everybody has different things going on. Somebody might have diabetes or cardiovascular disease, and so then you talk to them about what foods, what nutrients would support their disease and help them feel better. And the next thing you talk to them about is the second criteria, and that is interoceptive awareness. And that's helping them develop this awareness, this internal thought inside of them about how that food feels. Does that food, after they eat, that eat it, make them feel lethargic, or does it make them feel energetic? Or maybe if they have diabetes and it raises their blood sugar, um, talking to them about how that feels. And then over time, the person will automatically want to choose foods that make them feel good. And then the third criteria then is taste. Taste is so very important because if it doesn't taste good to that person, they are not going to continue to eat it. So those are the three criteria that I talk to people about primarily choosing their food after. Again, nutrition, interoceptive awareness, and then taste. But then I also talk to them about treat foods, or in the intuitive eating book, they call it playtime foods. But I just call it treat foods. You know, everyone has different foods that they really like to eat. You know, candy, chips, cake, and ice cream. And we're very social people and always have those foods at our disposal. So it's important to teach people how they can incorporate it into their normal eating. Because if not, what happens is that they will try to restrict. And then when they do eat that food, will eat twice or three times the amount as if they would just let themselves eat that food every so often. So again, I highly encourage intuitive eating because it's a relaxed way of eating, helps you develop a healthy relationship with food, and it brings food freedom and peace. Have a great day, everybody.